Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to turn these seeds into onions. So, before you run out and buy a ton of these small seed starters, save your money. They're a waste. You don't need it, okay? You don't need it. Instead, go to the Dollar Tree, pick you up some of these cake pans. Much cheaper than these. Now, these are great if you're going to be selling uh, plant starts, but in my opinion, Dixie Cup and aluminum full pan works just as good. Let's go ahead and get started. First, get your pans. These don't come pre-made with holes. Get your screwdriver, make you some holes. Doesn't have to be exact. Now, if you want them to be nice and neat and pretty, you might want to go buy you some. But for what this is, this is durable. They're gonna last, they're not gonna break down in sunlight. And I'm gonna probably use them for a couple years. And I get two of these for a dollar and a quarter. Big box stores love for you to buy their bulbs. They love for you to overspend your money. You can get 300 onion seeds to start at your own house. And you can do it for less than the cost of a Coke in some places. For three bucks, you can get 300 plus seeds. It's the best way to do it. You can sew them together dense. You can pull them apart later. Now it's January right now. Feels really good. Nice and warm. We have a warm spell that's come through. You have to start these onions early. The earlier, the better. So you can get them out. They're okay in frost up to a certain extent. So I'll be planting mine later in March and they'll be over you know, they'll be ready to go by the time we get to midsummer. So here I have some topsoil. It's been rained on a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is fill up my tray with just a little bit. And this doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I like to get a good amount. Spread it out a little bit. Now, this topsoil that I have, it's got a good mixture of clay and sand in it, a lot of sand, and that's gonna be really good so that it can get some good drainage and not overdo these seeds. What I like to do is, when I'm starting these seeds, just add a few handfuls on top of this, and then I like to really get in there and mix it in well. And what this does is it's a good way to retain some of the moisture that the sand is going to let pass through. And the reason we punched holes in the bottom of the tin pan is to allow water to pass through so the seeds and eventually the seedlings are not sitting in just pure water. That'll kill them, it'll rot them out, and it's not good. This is a very cheap way of recreating a pot and soil. It's not exactly perfect. There's a couple other things like perlite that I would add to this in order to give it a more consistent mix that pot and soil, or sorry, seed starting soil has, but this will work. So with these seeds, I've got these Flat of Italy onions I got from Baker Creek. If you want some more ideas about what to plant, I've got a video up here listing all the plants that I bought, all the seeds that I bought from Baker Creek. They're a really great company, and it's gonna be well worth your time to look at this video. It's a comprehensive list of what I'm growing this year. We're gonna see how well these do. So what you wanna do is, is get them. And hopefully you can see here, onion seeds are very, very, small these seeds are small and so instead of individually planting them one by one it's going to take forever what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep them in the package 
and I'm just going to gently sprinkle them out across this pan. Now this is supposed to be around 300 seeds. So I'm going to fill up this pan, and you may be saying that's a lot of seeds for that small of a pan, but these are going to be getting separated pretty quickly. Within two months, I'll be separating all of these. They're going to be bunched up. I just want to spread them out a little bit, gently. Press them down. Not too hard. And then I'm going to come back in with a handful of compost and just lightly cover them. If you sow these too deep, you're not going to get good germination. So I just put out this light layer of compost. Just enough to cover them. Put a little bit more just to fill in the gaps. And that's it. These are ready to go. Now I just need to water them in good. And these are going to be ready to plant in two months. So... I'm excited to see how they do with this method. And there's our onion cake ready to go. It's going to bake for approximately two months. They're going to be ready to pull it out and plant them. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I've got a larger pack. This is from Everwild Farms. These are Walla Walla seeds. And I have quite a few of these. So these seeds look about the same as the flat of Italy. And I'm gonna sow these pretty dense within this pan. Now, with this pan being smaller and sowing them in like this, they'll really get root bound really easily. They'll get root bound really easily if you don't stay on top of it and get them separated. All right, guys, the last part of this is the watering. That may seem easy, but you need to be very, very careful whenever you're working on these small seeds. So let's show you how to do it. What you wanna do is, is hopefully on your water hose, you have a setting that's called mist. And what this does is it sprays out in a very fine mist so that you don't disturb the seeds that you just planted. Spray it kind of back and forth a good distance from the plants. It's kind of like those grocery store misters that they have on vegetables. You don't have to get it soaking wet, but get it good and watered in. And this is going to stimulate your plants to grow. And we're going to be planting these before you know it in springtime. Now, these seeds do not need to be watered all that often. Obviously, you're gonna to have to water them enough to keep them alive, but other than that, about once a week's a good number. And that's it. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you found it useful, consider clicking up and watching this video I made on starting lazy beds and getting your garden started today. Also consider subscribing and liking the channel. I'm here, this is my journey, and I'm glad that you can be along with me. Thanks and I'll see you again.